All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks, FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today I'm going to do another uh, update on the Faisal tripod. And this time it's going to be with my Acrotech GP ball head. And I think this will be my second update on the tripod, but it'll be my third Faisal video because um, I think I, I uh, videoed the unboxing and everything. So I'll go ahead and put both of the previous Faisal videos down in the description so you guys can click the links below and watch those. Um, but recently I had another comment come in, um, or two or three comments actually, on my last uh, on my uh, very last video, my landscape photography vlog. And people are just wondering if I'm still liking the Faisal because um, some people have had problems with the Faisal. I haven't had any problems. Um, and so I'm just going to do another update video. So yeah, I've been using it. I mean, I use this thing all the time. I use it every day. Um, and it's been through really, really cold weather, uh, mud, Georgia clay, where I live, it's been through sand. Uh, it's, it's been in the sea before. So salt water has been all in it. It's been through everything. And, and I have, the only thing I've had to do with it is, uh, tighten the Allen wrenches here or the Allen screws on one leg. Just had to just to give them a little tighten so that it wasn't, you know, um, so that it just wasn't loose. And, and it wasn't that it just fell down. It was just looser than the other. So I just tightened the Allen screws and I was good to go. Other than that, I've just done regular maintenance. You know, I've, uh, I've only had to take the legs apart one time to get sand out of it from uh, when I went to uh, Florida and shot in the sea. So I just, you know, you could tell the when you retracted the legs, it was kind of grinding from the sand. So I just took the legs off and got that out of there. Super simple. Um, and it's been great. It's really, it's really been really good. So uh, it's carbon fiber. This is the Faisal CT3472, I think is what it is. Kind of a long name. Um, and they've been great. It's, just, it's so light. And uh, the last video I made where I was talking about ball heads, which I'll put that video in the description as well, um, what, you know, the, the whole thing that was weighing this tripod down for me was the Faisal ball head. I had the CB70D. And it also broke on me. But um, the ball head is so heavy. It is just so heavy. So the fact that these are carbon fiber legs, you know, I wanted a really light ball head. So I decided on the Acrotech GP ball head, which by the way, uh, Acrotech sent this to me cause they're just so, so cool. Uh, sent it to me for free. So, um, it, it's just, it's phenomenal. And they didn't send it to me by the way and say, Oh, you have to say good things about it. Um, I was planning on getting an Acrotech anyway. So, uh, because of that, we got into some conversation and they sent this to me. Um, and it's a fantastic ball head. So this combination, in my opinion, is like the best you can get for landscape photography, um, it, unless you want to spend $2,000 or whatever on a really right stuff setup. But if you watched my first Faisal video, I came to Faisal because I didn't like my really right stuff setup. On the really right stuff um, tripod that I had, which I don't remember the name of that now, it was a TC34 or something like that, I don't remember, but on the previous, uh, really right stuff tripod that I had the levers at the legs that actually uh, You know retracted the legs in and out and extended them it, it broke twice on the same leg And then after I got it fixed twice because really right stuff sent me kits to fix it It broke on another leg and after that I was just done I just I sold the tripod and let the person know that who I sold it to that it had broken previously And that I had fixed it and I didn't know if it was gonna break again So I, I sold my really right stuff tripod legs at a, a bargain to them knowing that it might break again I don't know. Um, and I got rid of my BH55 ball head and I just started over. I did a lot of research. I ended up on Faisal uh, and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. It's It's been fantastic. The legs are nice and smooth. Um, every, you know, I love the, the uh, quarter turn uh, knobs here for the, the legs are nice and smooth on here as well. They don't get, um, you know, uh, they don't get less stiff over time. They, again, when I got sand in them, it was very easy to take apart and, and clean the insides and everything of the, um, the inside of the screws and the inside of the legs. I, there's just one little ring that comes out and you can clean it with a wet paper towel and you're good to go. Um, other than that, I also love the fact that it has, one of my tripod requirements is that it has to have a hook on it. Um, which um, I don't know if you can see that there, uh, it has to have a hook on it so that I can hang my bag from the bottom. Cause I love hanging my bag on these hooks to weigh down the tripod during windy days. Uh, so it had the hook, it didn't have a center column, which was another requirement of mine. And since it doesn't have a center column, my biggest worry after that is, uh, will it be tall enough for me? And I am, uh, six feet tall and at six feet tall, it gets exactly up to eye level with me with a camera on there. So it was tall enough. It didn't have a center column. It had the hook. It was a little cheaper than the really right stuff and it works perfect. So I, you know, this is a wonderful tripod. Um, 
and you know I know there, again there's I know there's people out there that have had problems with it. That's that's perfectly fine. Problems happen, um, and they haven't happened to me so far. So I've had a really good time with this tripod, uh, and the head has been fantastic too. The head is wonderful. Uh, this is the Acrotec GP ball head with the uh, lever release clamp. And this ball head is just, this is the only ball head I've ever used that I've been really happy with. It's just, it's it's a minimalistic design. It's a, it's a completely open ball head, which is awesome, easy to clean. Um, and there's no grease anywhere, which is my favorite part. There's no grease, there's no lubricant anywhere, so it doesn't get sticky on you if you wash it off with water. Uh, it, it's great. So yeah, this 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 ball head, the the clamp, by the way, if you're if you're not a clamp user, uh, or I mean, sorry, a, a lever release clamp user in your tripod or on your ball head, uh, you should be. I promise it just makes things super super quick. Let me show you real quick how quick uh, I can switch from you know vertical to uh, horizontal here. So open the clamp, you just set it in for vertical, you hear the click. All, it's a very, it's a nice gratification to hear the click because I know it's in. You just undo the clamp, move it down, and I hear the other click and it's in. And as far as the ball head itself, oh man, it's just, it's so, the, the tension knob is so fine tunable that you can just have it at that perfect tension to be able to, to really have it at a nice, like buttery smooth uh, ball head without being too, uh, without being too sensitive to fall and without being too tough to move. So yeah, it's just like, it's just it's the perfect ball head. Uh, anyway, so love the ball head. Uh, it's very smooth to turn, love the clamp. It makes it very fast for operating out in the field. And other than that, this is my update. It's, uh, I'm still happy with it, still using it all the time. I don't have any plans to replace it anytime soon. I'm hoping this thing lasts me for life. Um, you know, eventually in the future, I might get a smaller version Faisal. Uh, for like for travel purposes, but right now for travel, I'm using my Mi Photo Globe Trotter, which I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, the ball head could be better, so that's why I might get a uh, a smaller Faisal legs for travel, and then I'll just get another Acrotec GP ball head to put on that, and I'll be good to go. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions about the Faisal, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching another video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my latest photography videos and adventures, click the big subscribe button below. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to become a great photographer, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.